Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back. It's somebody Techno Boy, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a, a passive bus radiator at your home. Well, most of you already know that what a passive bus radiator is, and it's for them uh, who don't know that yet. A passive radiator is just uh, looks like this. It's kind of speaker. Uh, looking thing from the front side uh, from back side is just the uh, cone and the surroundings and nothing else no uh, coil no spider no magnet uh, no basket also so why do we uh, why we're gonna use this uh, we use this for uh, to replace the bus from the other side of the enclosure bus enclosure like you'll get, uh, you'll see three kind of enclosure, like sealed enclosure. That uh, subwoofer is in a sealed, completely sealed enclosure. There's no air pipe or nothing like that. And another one is ported enclosure. There you'll get one or two air pipe, depending on the size of the enclosure and another the third one is the passive radiator and the one side you'll get the speaker driver the bus driver and the other side you'll get a passive radiator like this so it will reflect the bus from the other side also so let me show you how you can make this at your home using uh, your old unused speaker or your blown up speaker by which uh, coil is blown already and you don't want to repair that you cannot use that so you can make a passive radiator using this kind of uh, speaker that you have useless for you so let me show you that I can make this there is one you can see it's a 3 inch uh, speaker driver okay so what you need to do is you need to cut uh, all around the basket from here to uh, remove the basket from the this front panel about the basket and the magnet so let's do it
and your work is done the passive radiator is ready to use as you can see it's just the front this uh, metal panel and the cone and the uh, surrounding that's it now you can use it with a 3 inch uh, subwoofer or 4 inch subwoofer uh, and that enclosure like that and uh, Simple. This was just a demonstration for making a passive radiator at home using your old unused uh, speaker. Like this, you can make a bigger one, like eight inch or ten inch, if you have a cheap eight inch or ten inch uh, driver at home that you don't use, or it's uh, damaged or something like that. Then you can use that and make a passive radiator. And then you can make a nice subwoofer uh, with a passive radiator that is going to give you a better sound. Okay, so that's it guys. Hope you liked the video and if you have any questions and comments below. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.